Skylines. This is Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and I am your humble host, Christopher Tarantola. And last episode, we just started doing this grid here, so we filled out this grid. And now, we're going to continue the grid across the freeway here, and then we're going to, you know, fill it in. We're going to zone it up, we're going to um, detail it out, all that kind of stuff. Now, this is all going to be high... Uh, density like over here but I expect that this will go even higher I'm gonna make sure that I put a lot of love into this area so before we actually even start zoning I'm gonna be laying down a bunch of landmarks so I'm gonna make sure that there's lots of walkability um, you know what I have here is just the the very beginning so we're really gonna be ch even changing things up from here in fact I was looking at this um, after I had made it with you guys and to be honest, I don't like this grid because I'd really rather my uh, axis be, my long axis be um, from left to right as the screen shows right here. And right now it's from top to bottom. I don't like that as much. Um, that's not what my intention was. I think I, I could be, do, uh, I think I could do better uh, by moving this road up and this road up and, um, yeah, I want to I want to rethink this grid a little bit. So I might actually demolish it and redo it. Um, and yes, I made you sit through the whole thing of me doing this just to demolish it only because that's how that's how you do it, man. You got to you got to trial and error sometimes. And sometimes you're you have an idea and you you lay it down and you say, "You know what? I have a better idea." And so you got to you got to kind of run with that a little bit. So um, let's go ahead and begin, get right into it. So, I think, I, I'm okay with the way this is going, with the exception of, you know, we're going to want those to match up with whatever I uh, redo here. So, I'm going to take that out. Okay? And we're going to take this out, and we're going to take this out. We're going to just completely redo this grid. So, I think one of the things I need to think more about too when laying this grid out is I need to think about more than just the cars. I need to think about the people, right? So, yeah, I mean, we're really going back to scratch. I'm sorry, guys. It's just, it's just the way. It, it just has to be done. It must be done. There's no, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It, it. it had to be done. You know, I could have gone with it, and it probably would have worked okay. But in the end, would I be happy with it? No, I would not. And, um, you know, what we can say is chalk that up to basically a drafting session. Even though I had to actually pay money for it. Um, you know, good design is an iterative process. And so you gotta you gotta take the time to wipe away what you you thought you loved and start again. Okay, get rid of that. All right, so let's get back to it here. Let me put this on real quick. Okay, so um, let's see here. We want to have as rigid a grid as possible. Um, and we want this to be our long axis, right? We want people to come in. This will be a, a really primary road, especially since it's connected to the freeway. Um, even more so than this one, I, I would believe. And so we're going to really, really have to um, bolster that up. I don't think I want to connect it maybe once to this road. Um, and so... I'm going to put a medium road in here because what's going to happen is that's going to upgrade to uh, one of these roads here, uh, ultimately. So, instead of just sticking it right down the middle, though, we might start at the one edge and work our way down. And that might mean we even move this bottom one a little bit. I don't know. Okay, so we'll start with our minimum one. And that's going to be 
a road that looks something like this. There we go. Um, let's go ahead and just put a second one in. And then we'll put a main road in. And we'll go back to the regular road here. And I'm gonna, I'm okay with having that little extra space there. Uh, that'll be fine. So we'll leave that uh, be for now. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, we want to have like a primary road. I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna go with the medium sized here though. And we're just gonna stick it uh, somewhat in the middle here. Same thing with this over here. There we go. And, uh, you know, we want to really uh, work on how these connect. So I think what we'll do is instead of deleting them, we're just going to manage the connection here. So all these connections, you're not going to really be able to cross the road at all. So, you know, first we want to turn off all the lights here. Because, again, I'm, I'm not a big proponent, proponent of the, the lights, uh, the traffic lights in this game. It just, they don't work well. And I see traffic working better always without the traffic lights. Um... And that could be, you know, that doesn't mean that that's always the case. That just means that it's always the case with me, or usually the case, I should say. And it's a shame because I do like the look of it, but uh, ultimately that's just the way, the way I play. Okay, so now, um, so that's our grid, and it's it's a lot larger. It's a more efficient grid, so we got less roads and more building. But we want to think about uh, walkability here, okay? So, and I also I have this road coming through, so I probably want to pay that off with at least connecting to here. So I'm going to do that now, and it's going to be this guy here. introduce a bit of a diagonal there and I'm gonna leave it to right there I'm not gonna go any further um, and we got to re redo some of what was going on here as well Ooh, excuse me okay So what we'll do is, um, what kind of road is that? I think that's just a suburban, yeah, one of these roads here. I might just do that straight, essentially, until we get to there. I need to manage my settings there. And, uh, oh, it's not what I wanted to do. Pay attention. Okay. There we go. And 
what that's going to be is that's going to be again just like these you're only going to be able to turn right onto it or turn left off or right off of it and then to to go the other way you're going to have to um, manage going some other way and we will provide a connection here so really that's going to be your turning lane okay and uh we do want to break this up a little bit there we go is that how it wants to go i don't think so maybe we want to go something more like that that makes more sense to me there we go something similar here we go to just straight for a little bit here and honestly take just take this angle off oh yeah I'm gonna have to rework this so I will First of all, we want to just make that a nice, there we go, that looks better, and that looks better, okay, and that will just come straight in. So what was going on there is um, because of where I, I, I forced it to go with the Anarchy, um, by pressing Control A, I turned Anarchy on, I forced it to click there, and then I had to delete it because what's going on is there was a, a segment that was just super short, way too short, and it was going to cause some glitches in the game. So I delete that and the next segment over and then create one segment, and that kind of helps things out. You don't want your segments to be too small and too close together. Um, I only want, yeah, I want that one. And that's how we'll do that. Okay. So now we got that going on. Um, definitely want to create like uh, some sort of pedestrian ability to walk down. Um, particularly from this train station, I want this train station to be able to have good access pedestrian-wise to this area. So um, we're going to probably redo that, and we don't necessarily need it to be right there. It can it can come along here, and maybe like come across to here, and then pedestrians have access all the way down. And we can also we can up go ahead and pre upgrade some of these roads here. Uh, so we got a four-lane boulevard with bikes. I kind of like that. And so we can uh, really upgrade our bikes to be able to go north and south here. And uh, I wonder if we go like a two-lane road with a bike lane here, dedicated bike lane. That might be a way to go. We do the same thing here. So that creates, you know, good bike lane access here, and then we can just, um, can we switch it by right-clicking? It's not letting us do that. That's a drag. So which way is it? Is it going this way? Yeah, that's better. It looks great. Except for that whole thing. Yeah, what's up with that? It's kind of a little janky. Kind of a little janky. 
I don't know. I forget who did that. It wasn't Bad Peanut. Um, it's Bad Peanut made like this stuff. Oh no, that's Urbanist. No. Oh. Well, I think I thought I had some Bad Peanut stuff, so that that obviously wasn't it. But anyway, you know what I mean. Um, I wonder if we want to make that a good bike lane as well. Um, let's let's try it. What could possibly go wrong? To quote some others. Oh, I can't do that. Hmm. That does create issue. So I can maybe just do it with the the stock. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Oh, that was some sneering sneeze in there. Ooh, that's gonna really mess things up. I think that'll that'll do it, and then from there on, the bikes can kind of go on pathways. Okay, so there's that. Now, what about this crossroads here? This guy, I think, is going to go up to here. Now we got bikes and parking. That we got a bus, bike, and parking. Uh, let's get the tram. We may add that later, but we're not going to do that now. I think we're going to do this one. I kind of want to upgrade that as well, so let's do that with the this one for Lane Boulevard with bikes. Really creates an Amsterdam style uh, protected bike lane, which I like. I like that. And it looks good. Now, I do need to manage here the road if I'm going to do that. So let's do go ahead and manage that. You know, that'll be that. I don't want to go there. I guess this can go there. This guy can go here. That can go. There or there. Guess who else we got? I guess we set it there and then you can also come across that way. That changes. It. You, you just have more options when you uh, are coming this way. There we go. Now. We don't have a good way for the bike lanes to go across here. So, <clears throat> let's see here. Do I have a one-way with bike lanes? That's with grass. 
I don't really have a one way with bike lanes, do I? So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get more bikes across here. I don't think the bikes can go on this road here. Or maybe they can just go on the sidewalk, but still, I need to figure that out. So I'm gonna go over here to my pathway here. And I know we have just a dedicated bicycle path. Now that's a two way. I think I have a one way here. I think this is a one way. Let's test it out here. No, that's a two way. I don't know how that's different than the stock one. This is the stock one here. And yeah, it's just two way. So I only need to do one of these. And it'd probably be better to like bring it right here and not have that be the the boulevard that it is. So I'm gonna start it right here. straight across for this part. I don't mind having, uh, I want that pillar right there. That just makes sense to me that you'd have a pillar right there. And then go back to a curvy. Okay, and then we want to change our road type here. We don't want the bikes lanes. Um, change it to that. Um, oh, this is a one way. We don't want a one way. Just a regular one will work. There we go. And of course, it deletes that. Interestingly enough. Uh, so, we'll have to redo things, but that's okay. Alright, so back to our bike lane. And it'll start right there. And it'll come to right here. You know, I wonder, since I'm doing the bike lane, if I should just do the pedestrian and bike lane. That kind of makes some sort of sense. Can we upgrade? Does it all work? The pedestrian's on the left here and it's on the right there. Alright, so I think I'm gonna actually delete this, even though I did all that work just to have it be nice and clean. It's those little details that can make a difference for some people. Other people don't really care, but I am one of those people that do. So I just want it to all be consistent, whichever way it goes. We do that, and we'll have it nice and straight. And straight, and straight, and then we'll page on down to here. I don't even have a curve in there. We need to change the end of that. Let's have it come to like right there. There we go. I think that looks better. All right, and some pedestrians. I like that they're actually on that side. Um, yeah, so I think that ought to do well. And uh, 
we want to have a similar crossing here. So let's go ahead and build that crossing. Just like that. Okay. And uh, I think think we're good from there. Now, hold on. We're, we're taking a moment. Taking a moment to save. There we go. Okay. So, now, um, how do we really make sure that this place is upgraded and the way we do that if nothing else is through our landmarks here um i'm also going to want to and maybe this will be a good spot for it is have like my stadium here it's right down the street from the train station it's got the diverging diamond interchange here which we will still rework a little bit but um that might be actually a great idea is to like have our uh, stadium plan to be right over here. Maybe have this be a, a big um, tourist uh, spot and then um, have this be like super dense downtown but even with the super dense downtown we want to maximize the how how this area is going to look. So we're going to put landmarks here and we're going to put landmarks that can also go as um, nice tall buildings. So that one will go there. This one can kind of fit in right over here, I think. Like that. This one, I think, fits over here. I'm probably just going to... A and stick it right there. Um, I'm not going to do all of those, but I will go to here. You have to see inside skyscraper. We might as well stick that somewhere around here. It's actually not that tall. And uh, get the high interest tower. Is that what that's called? Yeah, high interest tower. there servicing services building servicing services building we'll stick right there okay and then any other major thing so at the oppression office we might want to go ahead and do like city hall oh I've already done the courthouse somewhere where did I do the courthouse I don't remember doing the courthouse I didn't do the courthouse, did I? I do it over here. I did not. That's the arch gateway there. What's all this? Oh, that's the uh, weather station there. That's the aquarium. Uh, I'm not buying this, guys. Like, why is this showing up as already placed when clearly I don't have it anywhere? I don't know. So, um, you know, I'm going to place it anyway. Let's see if we can do that at least. So, it seems like it wants to go in that area. So, I'm going to do that there. And we'll have the tax office right across the street here. And then over here we have the oppression office. And we can stick that somewhere around here as well. Uh, maybe like right here. Okay, and then, you know, every one of these that I'm placing, I 
uh, supposedly that's already somewhere, but no, it's not. So I'm going to go ahead and place some of these big landmark style buildings. And I'm willing to bet that this is going to, yeah, see, it, it actually does skyscraper for you. 